Hey, welcome, church family. Uh, got my sheet of paper here, and it says welcome right on top. So let me say I am glad that you're taking a few minutes just to uh, take a look at this video, and I hope that uh, you use these videos each week uh, just to give you some handles on the passage of scriptures as we're working through Romans. And uh, for some of you that are meeting in uh, one another groups, small groups, uh, meeting with other men or other women, uh, I just want to thank you for meeting together. Thank you for praying together. Uh, thank you for uh, taking time when you get together to uh, bring uh, spiritual thought, uh, biblical concepts into your, your discussion. Uh, lots, lots of people get together for conversation throughout the week uh, in our society and culture, but uh, when we get together, uh, one of the advantages, one of the one of the uh, uh, special things we can do is uh, interact over God's Word. So I hope you're doing that. And uh, this Sunday, January the 22nd, uh, the passage that will be that I'll be preaching is Romans chapter 5, verses 12 through 21. And uh, I encourage you to use your white notebooks and the study pages that are in there and read this passage and uh, let me just give you a couple of, of things to look for in this passage uh, one immediate uh, way to outline this passage in a sense is to just simply uh, make two columns on your paper and one column would be titled Jesus and the other column would be titled Adam I guess no matter which order you put those in, but Adam and Jesus and uh, Paul in this passage is is presenting to us uh, what he considers to be the two most influential men in history. And Adam and his actions and the impact on humanity, and then Jesus and his actions and the impact that he had on humanity. And so just work through the passage, and as you're reading about the one man and the one man and Jesus and Adam, just make a list of what their actions were, what are the results of that actions, what words does Paul keep repeating and using to go down for Adam and Jesus. So that's one way to, do, to kind of look at this. And then... Uh, Maybe another uh, way to, to put this in context is that uh, Paul is, is presenting here the idea that humanity is facing a really, really big problem, and that's death. But then he says several times that there's even a bigger solution, a better solution. It's not just uh, neutralizing death. But it goes far beyond that. And uh, look in the passage, but you can probably find some, some words that talk about more or greater or much more or abundant. And just take a look at, at where, which columns they go in. Is that describing Adam and the results of, of his choices? Or is that describing Jesus? And I think you'll see that under the, the, the person of Christ, uh, you'll, you'll see that it's a... It's a bigger deal what Jesus has done, what Jesus has brought. Uh, and then just maybe uh, one other thought as you as you look through this. Uh, you see it there uh, in verse 17 uh, that Jesus and Adam are both, in a sense, kings. And they both uh, reign. And uh, Adam reigns in a very different way than Jesus reigns, but uh, there's just these two kingdoms that are very, very different, but in this passage and throughout the Bible, there's no other kingdom opportunity for people. Uh, they are either in Adam's kingdom or they've come from Adam's kingdom into Jesus's kingdom. Uh, if you don't like that idea, or it's hard to understand the word kingdom. You could you could think of it as as a family, because the Bible uses that analogy too. That we're either in in the family of Adam, 
where we're in the family of Jesus and we're born into a new family. So, uh, I like how the passage in verse 12 starts, just as sin entered into the world, and it comes back to that in verse 18, just as sin or a trespass entered in the world, so did Christ enter into the world. And uh, so I guess maybe just one question to, to maybe reflect on or discuss in your small group would be, uh, has Christ entered into your world? We know sin has, and we really don't have to talk a whole lot about how sin has entered into our world because it's around us and within us uh, just way too often. But when Christ entered into the world, he brought a solution for sin. So how how is Christ coming into your life, into your world, impacted your life? Or how should it be? And that might be... Uh, one one direction you take here. So I hope you'll uh, spend some time looking at this passage, uh, working through these these truths, and uh, we'll talk more about it on Sunday morning, and then in your your discussion groups, small groups with your family. Uh, what is this all about, Adam? All about Jesus? And do you think they're the two most influential men in human history? Thanks so much. Have a good night.